Crazy. Friday. The mundane crime of shoplifting has spun out of control in San Francisco, forcing some chain stores to close. Soon after moving to San Francisco in 2016, I walked into a Walgreens in North Beach to buy an electric toothbrush. As I was paying for it, a man walked into the store, grabbed a handful of beef jerky and walked out. I looked over at an employee, who shrugged. Then I went to Safeway next door for some groceries and I saw a man stuffing three bottles of wine into a backpack and walking casually toward the exit. On his way out he bagged some snacks. I asked the Safeway clerk about the thefts. I'm new to San Francisco, I said. Is it optional to pay for things here? Five years later, the shoplifting epidemic in San Francisco has only worsened. At a board of supervisors hearing last week, Representatives from Walgreens said that thefts at its stores in San Francisco were four times the chain's national average, and that it had closed 17 stores, largely because the scale of thefts had made business untenable. Brendan Duggan, the director of the Retail Crime Division at CVS Health, called San Francisco, one of the epicenters of organized retail crime, and said employees were instructed not to pursue suspected thieves because encounters had become too dangerous. We've had incidents where our security officers are assaulted on a pretty regular basis in San Francisco, Duggan said. The retail executives and police officers emphasized the role of organized crime in the thefts. And they told the supervisors that Proposition 47, the 2014 ballot measure that reclassified nonviolent thefts as misdemeanors if the stolen goods are worth less than $950, had emboldened thieves. The one trend we are seeing is more violence and escalating, and much more bold," said Commander Raj Vaswani, the head of the Investigations Bureau at the San Francisco Police Department. We see a lot of repeat offenders. San Francisco has suffered in a variety of ways during the pandemic. The city has had twice as many fatal drug overdoses as coronavirus deaths. Tents of legions of homeless people lined sidewalks during the lockdowns. But the hearing last week focused on something much more prosaic, one of the richest cities in America is struggling with sticky fingers. Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word, and to you sincere listeners. Just want to go into a lesson, which the video that you've seen before the lesson started, you know, is a microcosm of what's going on in Babylon the Great today. Okay? This is what's going on in the society, man. This this place is completely finished. All right? You would never see, you know, uh, this happening back in the day. And this is just, a, a you know, an indicator of the current state of Babylon. Okay? People are hurting out here, man. People, people are, are, are able to steal, <laughs> you know, from stores without getting, uh, th there's no punishment. This is a lawless society, man. Okay. And this is all a part of the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai being fulfilled. Okay. This, this is not supposed to be happening in a first world country. People shouldn't have to resort to doing these things, man. And if they did do it, there's supposed to be some kind of punishment, man. But these people are able to just go into the store and steal at will, okay? Because the crime is pretty much out of control throughout this whole country, man. And this isn't just happening, you know, out here in San Francisco. This is happening all throughout the country. And the reason why this is happening is because Yahweh Shai is breaking this place down, man. 
This is Isaiah 24 and 7. It says, The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth. All the merry hearted do sigh. Yeah, all that, that mirth that used to be in this place is gone, man. Imagine you going to the store and then you see a uh, you know a, a individual come in the store. You you getting you gonna make a purchase and somebody just comes in and they steal whatever they want and just walk out. And they don't get arrested. They don't get apprehended at all, you know. It says the new wine mourneth and the vine languisheth. All the merry hearted do sigh. These people that were happy to be here, they're not happy anymore, man. Okay, the, the, the countenance of these Babylonians has changed. All right. It says the mirth, the mirth of tabrets ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. Yeah, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has been taking away your joy, man. Really beginning, uh, you know, last year with this whole, you know, outbreak. People's uh, countenance has changed. And even before that, you see, you know, the countenance of these people changing and getting worse and worse because this society is being broken down right before their eyes, man. It says they shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. And what's the city of confusion? Babylon the Great. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is breaking this place down, man. You see, uh, homelessness is out of control in a lot of these cities. Drug use is out of control in a lot of these cities, man. Crime is out of control in a lot of these cities. Okay, robberies are up. Well, out here, they'll steal your catalytic converter off of your car, man. And they'll sell it for money. That's the thing out here in, in, <laughs> in the Bay Area, man. <laughs> man, as you wake up, you know, you go to start your car and the catalytic converter is gone, man. All right. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in, and all these places are boarded up, man. We we we're in a uh, you know an even worse retail apocalypse than before this whole uh, thing went down. A lot of stores and businesses have closed down due to the different measures that these uh, you know governors and mayors put in place, man. And these businesses are not coming back. That's less uh, revenue for the city, less tax revenue for these different cities, man. So what does that also mean? Your taxes are going to go up. <laughs> You're going to have to pay more, man, because those sit, those uh, businesses can't can't help foot the bill. So you, you're going to see income taxes uh, 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 going up. Well, out here in the Bay Area, a lot of these counties, they are increasing their sales tax, man, which it was already high. But some of these counties are now going to implement a 10.75 percent tax increase. OK, or, or, or are they going to up? The uh, sales tax to 10.75%. So for every dollar you spend, the state is going to take 10 cents from you, man. And people are, are, are already out here hurting. So this is just going to make a bad situation that much worse. Which all these things are prophesying in the scriptures, man. And like my man, uh, Gerald Salente likes to say, when people lose everything and they have nothing else to lose, they lose it. And that's what's being prepared for this place, man. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai is going to have these people lose their mind and, and start tearing shit up out here? This is uh, Baruch 4, and I'll start at 30. It says, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that hath gave thee that name will comfort thee. See, so we don't, we don't got nothing to worry about. Okay, the things that we are witnessing, you know, the different, uh, the, the crime rates going up. Okay, this is all prophesied. This is all the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. These things have to happen for the kingdom to be established. And one of the, the reasons why they are happening is because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is having mercy upon the nation of Israel. Okay? And in having mercy upon the nation of Israel, this place has to be destroyed, man. Okay? That's why you see these things happening. That's why you see the crime rate going up. That's why the economy is in the, the state that it's in. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is bringing this place down. Because he's going to completely wipe this place from off the face of the earth and establish the kingdom of the Israelites down here upon the earth, man. Verse 31, it says, miserable are they that afflicted thee. Okay, so the, the individuals that in, inflicted harm upon us, they have to uh, receive uh, harm. You know, they have to be put in a miserable state. That's why you see these things happening. Okay, these things are not happening for the destruction of the nation of Israel. They're happening... For the destruction of these other nations, man. Mainly Esau Edom, because this is his society. 
He's the one catching hell out here, man. He's the one that's getting laid off and got to move into a tent. And that tent that he moves into, he can't even buy it. He has to go and steal it, man. He got to go to Home Depot or one of these sport uh, outlet uh, stores and steal tents, man. So he can live on the street. All right. And that's if he's lucky. A lot of these homeless people just get sleeping bags and sleep on the, on the, on the sidewalk, man. It says, miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. So these individuals here in Babylon are great. They're in a miserable state, man. Their economy is, is, is you know, is done. Crime is at an all-time high. People are getting robbed, especially in these affluent uh, neighborhoods, man. Robberies are going up. It says, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy son. So these cities are through and Babylon as a whole is completely through, man. Well, look at the video. These things happen throughout this whole country, man. Things like this. Okay, uh, 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 car burglaries. You know, uh, breaking and enterings. People getting robbed. You know, uh, uh, armed robberies. Uh, uh, car thefts. Okay. All these things are going up. It says, miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Babylon the Great. This place is in a miserable state. It says, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. These people are in a, in a, in a state of grieving, man. When they look around, okay, they might seem like they're, like they're happy because they, you know, just came out of a lockdown, you know. But you look around, it's through. You know, this place is never coming back, man. Okay, a lot of these stores that closed down during this whole lockdown, they still close. Okay, so this this whole you know reopening, it's it's a facade, man, because it's not it's not how it used to be, you know, it's not the same as how it was before uh, the lockdown happened. Those stores that you used to walk by, that you used to go into and shop at, they're they're gone forever, man, and they ain't coming back. So there's a permanent, <laughs> you know, empty uh, storefront on the main strip you used to go to to shop, man. Okay, and these people can see it. You know, every, every time they go outside. All right. It says, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. And we're rejoicing at your downfall, just as you rejoice at our downfall, man. When you seen us getting invaded by these different uh, other nations, you were rejoicing. Okay. When you seen our economies uh, take hits, when when different plagues came upon us, you other nations were rejoicing, man. Mainly you Edomites, all right. So we're doing the same thing. When we see businesses closed in your society, that's a that's that's very exciting, man. Okay, it puts a smile on my face when I see businesses closed down. All right, when I see uh, the crime rates going up. All right, why? Because we know and understand that that is the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. And that ultimate judgment that's going to come upon this place is the thermonuclear destruction via those thermonuclear missiles, man. Which the Ha'abashim Ha'ashai is orchestrating this whole thing. Okay, so not only is your economy breaking down, the crime rate going up, at the at the end of the day, okay, when everything is said and done, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna completely wipe this place from off the face of the earth with those thermonuclear missiles, man. And that's gonna be the end of Babylon the Great. That's gonna be the end of the rulership of Esau Edom down here upon the earth, man. You know, so with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone. Shalom.